Man, we're getting through this really fast. Didn't think this was gonna take this long. But I think I'm definitely gonna review this whole thing in this episode, okay? So, it's... I just... I don't wanna do take two episodes. Boots, leggings, there's no enchantments on this because diamond's already really good, so... And then, yeah. So... I'm gonna go actually this way. So there's a blacksmith room, which I think that I'm really proud of this one. Because what you do is you push the button for the ticket. And see, booth two. So there's like one booth one, booth two, booth three, all the way to booth seven. So you go booth. This is booth. Oh, booth, wrong booth. <laughs> Let's go to just booth two and then and do your um, stuff and then go. And then, oh, yeah, I forgot. You need to put it back when you're done. And then it just goes through into the dispenser. That's like the same property as a fridge. Except there's a, a popper on top. Mini art gallery! Oh my god, a mini art gallery! Oh my god, that's so cool! So cool! Yeah! I have a dance in the mini art gallery! Yeah! Mm, 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 mm. yeah. <laughs> so actually, this is not. Well, it is, but that's not the whole thing. As you might have already suspected, it's kind of like that mini art gallery. <laughs> but, what do you do? Secret distant door. And this is actually a, another escape room. The second escape room. So just close in there. You take it down there. And there's, eventually, when you hit the end of the tunnel, you just go up and take a staircase up. way, And then eventually lead up way outside the house. Uh, you're safe. And also, there's like one stop along the way that you can go and press a, another hidden piston and take an extra way out. Because most people, they won't even find this, but if they do, they'll go the whole way and not um, find the hidden extra. Very, uh, there's lots of security here, so. Even the cogs, uh. <laughs> and then, kind of don't see anything in here. It kind of looks like just a back room or something. So, here is a high security prison cell area. I've already had one prison break. That was just one prisoner from this cell, and uh, I had to kill him because he wouldn't get back in his cell. <laughs> but yeah, there's a cop here. This is a lousy cop because sometimes the mobs actually got in when I'm still building this house. He just he just stood there, didn't do anything. So sorry, you're a lousy cop, okay? So I didn't get you to get So yeah, you just don't want to keep that open. Say, as soon as the doors open, they will bolt. I'm, I'm not kidding. But in case you want to give them anything, like, that's dirt. Some dirt. That's all he deserves. <laughs> um, you just put it in there, or in here for this cell. And they'll get the, um, anything you get. And see, it says, like, right here, meetings by appointment only. So, yeah. Now, we will go on to... Um, I guess we actually this kind of should go before that one. This is the master suite. So you go in here and the, you see welcome back because you it, it lights up when you unpress the button. And so yeah, I kind of wanted to show that first because that's like the thing you need to do right that second. There's paintings all around the place. There is a fridge in the middle of this room. <laughs> Just a random fridge in the middle of the room. Because it's just a massive suite, so it has to have a fridge. Head mounted on the wall. Paintings. Two full sets of armor. A nice bed, double bed. Flower pots. Furnaces, crafting tables, ender chest, regular chest. Two boxes and handles. Nice little bathroom right here. Right two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like this design I did on the floor, using like all these different, um, blocks. Because no one in the right mind is going to build a house this big in survival. No one. Because no one has this many, um, this much valuable stuff. Just no one. <laughs> they might have only enough to just build this one room, more, much less the whole building, so... Yeah, this one is um, a lot like the other one, just only one of these things, um, different color of wool on top of this. 
Um, and yeah, no, both ones have full sets of armor and everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I almost look like a Mona Lisa with a pig. Or I don't exactly know what that is. <laughs> so yeah, another design. This one has lapis in the floor, and the other one does not. I made that one before, so because that's the master one, so it has to kind of be before. Uh, this one, because the bathroom's all the way over there, so for this side of the house, there's a men's bathroom right here, so you can just go like that, and the bathroom right there. Um, more lots of sinks, and there's a woman's bathroom right here, kind of the same thing. So that's how you get out, and then um. Yeah, I would have had a pressure plate, but um, that would have opened that stall door, and that's kind of good. And I failed right here, because <laughs> I actually had to make a whole other building for showers. I could have just had a nicer, bigger one and used less space, but I had to have a <laughs> whole building just for showers. <laughs> and yeah, just come here, and just get in the shower. So... Same concept over here in the women's showers, and yeah, some of the room bedrooms that face out here have a really good view of the sunset. So, also like right here through this hallway, you have like a really good view of the sunset. So, um, this is dorms. So like um, uh, low. Wait, let me just quickly check something. Six. Okay. Um, like it's a dorm, like. A cheapy place that you can just go and stay somewhere. So like bunk beds everywhere. The other dorms the same way. Just bunk beds everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna do them all the way up here, like four beds high, but um, then when you sleep on the top two bunks, you have you have your head in the ceiling and you can't get out. <laughs> You'll sleep on the wall. So men's dorm is the same way, and I did everything over here, and then I'm just going to do stuff over here. Um, I'm going to actually go up here and start on this wing, like how it's kind of made to be showed. This is a hockey arena. <laughs> of all the sports, I just kind of chose hockey because, I don't know, I, I don't even like hockey. Or, well, don't, I don't mean to say that, but it just... I don't care about it or anything, but I don't really care too much about sports or anything, but of all the sports, I just randomly chose hockey. <laughs> so this building is like the, one of the build, biggest building or biggest rooms. So I'm going to actually show you the authorized personnel first. So that side's the same way. It's like just the, each area for different teams. Like you the store. Um, you just have where the players can sit and like watch the game better like on timeout or something and this is the actual hockey arena so what you play with it is actually just a stick with um knockback two and you just put a chicken right here <laughs> and then you just hit it like you can almost do a one hit goal into the into each place but it might like rebound or hit a person or something like that so yeah <laughs> I know it's not like that nice, but it's like the best thing I could use for this. So, and then this is just a locker room. The other locker room is not as far, but this one is. So, it's like just a few signs along the way. So, like you could do it, or you're the best, or stuff like that. For motivation. So there's armor in here, and the hockey stick with knockback too is already set. So yeah, this took so long to like for each individual stuff in there and uh, it took so long to do this though but I'm very proud of it so like the best thing I've ever done in my life even better that in that than that one skyscraper I reviewed the, the entrance this one is a newer building so that's why it's better so you got a really good view of this, and then there's like a deluxe seating right here where you can sit and have food right there. Then there's like a nice, that that kind of looks nice along here. So it's like a, um, 
I don't know what to call like a.